Welcome everyone, I'm Roger Christie, the founder of the Hawaii Cannabis THC Ministry. The founder of Hilo's THC Ministry, who ran afoul of the law, has been sentenced in federal court. After a long incarceration pending a trial on drug charges and tax violations, Roger Christie was sentenced to 60 months in federal detention and four years of supervised release. Christie has already served more than three years, nine months in federal detention, so that means he'll be released soon, likely to a halfway house. Federal Judge Leslie Kobayashi also sentenced his wife, Sherry Ann Christie, to 27 months in prison, followed by three years of supervised release. Twelve others were also prosecuted for taking part in the THC ministry. The bunch has since become known as the Green 14. Christie told Big Island Video News back in 2010 that the use of marijuana was part of their religion. We think the nation is big enough to accept the THC ministry doing our sincere ministry duties. And those include providing services and sacraments. We provide services, ministry services like membership, education, counseling, weddings, funerals, baptisms. We provide cannabis sacraments and we're happy to do so. And it's a sacred thing to us. I think that I am a legitimate uh, exempt ministry that's operating uh, with integrity in my community and uh, exercising our religious freedom to get high with cannabis. But authorities saw it as an illegal operation and the ministry was busted in 2010 following a grand jury indictment. Christie indicated in intercepted telephone calls that the ministry went through more than half a pound of marijuana a day and served about 60 to 70 customers a day. It's still a violation of the, the Federal Controlled Substance Act and is therefore a violation of federal drug laws, um, which DEA enforces. There is no law that uh, protects uh, his allegations of using marijuana uh, religiously. In September 2013, the couple agreed to a plea deal after the judge made a pretrial ruling against allowing a defense based on the Religious Freedom Restoration Act that would have allowed Christie's lawyers to base their defense on the use and distribution of marijuana on religious grounds. Roger Christie pleaded guilty to conspiring to manufacture, distribute and possess 100 or more marijuana plants, as well as two separate counts of failing to file federal income tax returns. Under the plea deal, Christie will still be able to appeal.